So if you are inherently somebody who has a victim mentality, then that's like drinking your own poison, right? Every time something bad happens, you're going to either try and outsource blame to somebody else or you might blame yourself for no good reason. You need to have a level of objectivity and be like, okay, let's have a look at this almost like Batman detective-esque and let's see why things are the way they are. If I can change certain things, then I will. If not, I'll try and find another route. Me not being able to afford to go to drama school isn't something I would put down as anything to do with my journey as an actor. It's just that it was very expensive. But there are lots of alternatives to drama school. There are lots of other ways. It's like people in life who either go to uni or they get a job and they work their way up. People don't complain about that. When they you know, started introducing, uh, they got rid of grants and they had the tuitions. People didn't really complain. It was just like, it just was what it was. Um, and you make that choice. And my choice was always, I'd always rather learn on the job, I think. Mm-hmm. I just learn a lot quicker. Obviously, you need some training, but I think I've learned more as an actor on the job and watching other people. I'm very much, uh, when I watch films, I'm really studying. You absorb it. Uh, seriously. Yeah. Osmosis is like, I'm watching these actors and I'm like, okay, this is what he's doing. Yeah. I'm going to, you know. like. And once you know that you need to look for that, it becomes easier. You're like, okay, yeah. I know what's going on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You look at the choices that people are making as an actor, even in scene. I think that's why I've probably been able to go from strength to strength in my own opinion as an actor because I'm working with people that are really good mm-hmm. and I'm watching them in scene being like, oh, 